Hello everybody, it's Scott from DLExposition.com. Today we're going to be learning a very simple trick with the Opera web browser. Before recently, I was totally addicted to Chrome. I love the Chrome browser, I love the performance benefits, and I just love the overall feel of the browser. However, as time grew on, other browsers started to get better. For instance, even Microsoft Edge now performs just as well and not in some tests better than Google Chrome when it comes to JavaScript execution. And when looking at Chrome, I still use the browser, but I don't use it for my normal everyday web browsing anymore. I've actually swapped to the Opera browser, which seems a little bit of an interesting decision considering the Opera browser is actually based on the same rendering engine as Google Chrome. However, that's not what this video is about. I could sit here and go on and do the full uh, comparison between the Google Chrome and Opera browser, but I find that they're both very identical in everything except for features. Therefore, what we'll be covering is the most important thing that seems to be absent because there's no direction on it, which was very a poor user interface decision, is how to enable Telegram. When you first download Opera, you're told that you have three app messagings that are supported. You have Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, for those of you who actually still use that and hasn't been merged into Facebook Messenger yet, and Telegram. But the Telegram button is missing and there's no settings icon to indicate that you can enable it anywhere, which makes sense and it doesn't. When designing user interface, you need to give a clear indication that there's an options menu. The other interesting thing is that the Opera O is actually its own settings window, and you can click it and it will open up your own settings tab, which would make you believe that this is how you go to enable the Telegram button, but it's actually not. The Telegram option is anywhere is as far away from the settings window as anything else in the Opera browser, which is a tad bit interesting. And because there was no clear indication, I saw this issue coming up on the forums, and I saw it all over, and I'm like, it makes sense to me because I have used this. But if you're fresh off the, if you're fresh off the Chrome train and you're hopping onto Bra Opera to give it a shot, you're used to everything having a clear indication of where it is. But to enable the Telegram option, it's actually fairly simple, and it's almost laughably easy. When you right-click on the uh, you can right click on virtually any tab in, Bra in Opera and it's going to do something. Unless it has a clear indication that this is a settings window, you can right click on it. You can hide your extensions bar, which is on your right hand side right here. And to enable Telegram, you just come over here and you right click the Telegram button. Also, that's how you enable your extensions button and your downloads and even an additional settings icon. You can unpin the sidebar, which you can also do from down here. Or you can do some additional sidebar settings, which can be opened up here. And if you go into the settings window, you can do manage and enable it here. But without any clear indication, people are getting really confused on how to do this, which was a little bit interesting to me. And I think the Opera developers in the future should look at clarifying on how to enable the Telegram option. That's about it guys, this is a super simple video for an issue that I saw all over the forums while I was trying to get used and configure the proxy and to also configure the Opera acceleration option. I was looking at ways to disable and enable it selectively and that doesn't exist. However, I did find this issue everywhere all over the forums and there was no clear answer online so I thought I'd make a quick video on how to do it. Well, thank you so much. Check out the website, which has been recently redone. It's had new content added, and it's being consistently updated for now. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can always put them in the comments below, or comment on the article that will appear in the description of the video, and I'll be able to answer any more questions. I'm pretty well versed with Opera, as I've been playing with it for quite a while, and if you have any general questions about the browser, I'll be more than happy to answer them. Thank you so much for watching, and goodbye.